I felt like a kid in a candy store. Like Sephora took my coins. I said, baby, today I am going to spend. That highlighter is gonna go down in history. Quote me on that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Kenby here. Today I have a sweet video for you guys as per usual. I'm doing a $450 makeup haul and honestly speaking, Sephora took my coins. I was literally seeing product I haven't seen in months. Like I've been seeing these products online, like I've been watching other influencers and other YouTubers like put out these products and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to try products. But I haven't really bought like proper makeup, especially with top brands like YSL, Fenty Beauty, or even Too Faced. Like I was just so excited to buy this and they had almost everything I was looking for. The only thing I wanted that they didn't have was a Pat McGrath and foundation and concealer that I wanted to try out. I just feel like I've reached that point where I can spend a little bit more money on luxury product and not feel bad about it. So enough of me talking, let's get straight to this video and see all the goodies that I got. I've gone ahead and done my brows off camera, so I'm just gonna start showing you guys the products. So I got three um, Burn This Way Too Faced products. I got a foundation in the shade Spice Rum. Then I got two concealers, Mocha and Chestnut, the famous chestnut that everyone uses. This Benefit Pore um, Primer. I've been seeing this for a minute now and honestly, I really want to try this out. I don't really use primers that much, like, okay, primer, like, I feel like I'm getting that blur effect that you say it's supposed to do, the pore finishing. I feel like I can get it. I feel like I'm getting that vibe with this primer. Look at this beautiful shade. Wow. Wow. Definitely doing something for me. I also love this shade of pink. I think this is also pretty, really nice and that is really rich. So I think I'm going to go with like a soft brown, gold kind of feel because I'm going out later on tonight. And the look I'm going to wear, which I'll show you guys at the end of the video. I start to do brown and I end up doing pink. I should please, don't crucify me. It's been a very, very long day. Okay, called the OG. I love that. Off with that creep. Wow. Wow, this is such a really, really, really nice shade of brown. It looks brown, right? But when I apply it, it doesn't look the same. I don't know if it's because I didn't use the lighter concealer that I usually use. I'm gonna go with this shade here. I think this is really, really pretty. It's called Semsa. Semsa. And I'm just gonna pack this on lightly, the crease. You know, I feel like something is definitely missing from this palette. I just feel like I wish I got more transition colors that I'll be able to use. The blue for me is good, but I don't know how I'm going to use the blue. What colors am I going to use for transition color? The blue. You know, I feel like I, I need something else, but so far the palette looks really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back in with that brown and just kind of mix everything together. Go with the Kiko Milano foil. It's such a pretty shade of like rose gold pink. Wow. This is really, really creamy. Okay. I'm just gonna try and do like a mini cut crease and just like cut my crease here right now. Okay, so this is the color. I'm going to go in with this brown shade called Georgina here to top it up. I think this is very rose gold pink, which is a different look that I'm going for today. I'm going in with a flat brush, guys. Um, I'm just gonna go over this just so I could get that brown look in the middle. I think I'm just gonna, maybe I'll just leave it in the middle. Kind of like the way it transits, actually. Then I'm just gonna go back and take in the same shade Sima and just kind of buff out the ends right now, lightly, before I bring in that warmthness to it. This is the shade 1988 and this is the shade BK. Just add a bit more depth and dimension to the end. I wonder where these names come from. I mean, I'm just assuming that this is probably like, has to do with something probably personal to Anastasia, but I don't really know where these 
shade um the shade colors um shade names come from wow guys are you seeing the depth that this is bringing to the eyes it's a little bit not too much you don't want to go crazy this took like what 10 minutes to do this look very simple very easy i got this beautiful brown um water liner from kiko it's the shade 02 wonder woman and guys look at this brown just so i can like warm it up even more can you see how warm eyes are this kiko lash right now and just use a little bit of mascara just to brush up those brows whoa Like, I don't want you guys to think that I'm just out here buying products that I already have just because I want to. That is partly true, but the reason why I actually spend that extra coin is this packaging is too sleek. Like, imagine this coming off of my bag. You think, oh my goodness, expensive. It screams luxury. Like, this is what I'm talking about. I've been using drugstore products for such a long time, and I have these two beautiful mascara, which is the Great Lash Maybelline. I'm sure you guys know this. And the Lash Sensor slash sensational mascara for maybelline and look the packaging is it's okay like it's fine i've never had an issue with it but i think i've reached that point in my life where i want to spend extra coins on this i'm gonna go in with my huda beauty lash samantha with my beautiful new kiko tweezers i love this it's so pointy and these lashes are so beautiful i'm going to be setting my face with this Fenty Beauty Cashew Setting Pro Filter Powder um, using a very small beauty blender. I'm gonna dust off, dust off the excess and just set in my face. I love mm, this smells really really nice, guys. This smells really really good. I like the shade a lot, guys. I like the shade a lot. Powder and I feel like the powder is a bit of May. Unfortunately guys, I didn't get a contour stick, so I'm just going to be using my normal blossom to kind of like correct my places with the drop marks. I told you guys that I stopped using that orange thing because I mean it's not bad. I I still have the orange thing, but I don't use it anymore. But you can if you want to. It doesn't I don't think it's bad. I personally there's a flight. There's a plane. Why so loud? <laughs> Is this plane not a little bit too low? Okay. Anyways, guys. Uh, so I got these two foundation. Born This Way in the shade Spice Strong and the Fenty Beauty 445. And I think today I'm going to use Born This Way just because I have the concealers. Um, I'll probably use this another day and tell you guys what I think. So... I honestly bought this brush for you guys so that you guys know the brush that I'm using when I'm talking so I'm using this really nice Sephora multi texture 09 brush this smells like the MAC foundation that MAC foundation so far I think this is this coverage seems to be good this brush though, I don't know how I feel about this brush. It's a bit, you know, hmm. But let me just creep my mouth here and just see what the coverage is like. This brush is interesting, but this brush, okay. Hmm, I think I like the shade. It's a little bit warm, like it has like orange undertone. I think this is fine. I feel like it has a bit of a warm golden undertone and I don't mind as much. So you can still see a little bit of like the marks here and here, but definitely this is full coverage and I feel like I can peel this up. See, I look a bit red and I feel like by the time I put foundation on my neck, everything would just kind of match seamlessly. Just going to put a bit on my neck now. So everything just matches up. My first 
concealer shade in Chestnut. It's a molten sculpting longwear concealer and this is very very neutral and I want to see how this feels when using the applicator. Normally I'll put like this on a stencil but I want to see how this feels using the applicator a little bit here a little bit my forehead area but um, I start like blending this outwards here just to see what the uh, what the coverage is like and then let the inner corners kind of like dry down I don't know if I like this it's very golden I don't know like a yellow finish but this is very golden um hmm this is very golden Ugh. is this chestnut well I'm surprised I don't know why I thought chest it's a bit golden but also like rose pink I don't know it's a rose pink also like rose like undertone but like rose pink yeah I think rose pink is fine rose pink undertone but I still feel like guys what do you think do you think this is a little bit orange on me I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty um, cream blush in the shade strawberry daiquiri 50 and I'm just going to wow this is such a pretty shade guys this is such a lovely shade I'm gonna put this under my skin set it and then put a nice orangish blush on top trust me guys i wanted to get the red one um i think it's called something dip but <sighs> you guys already know that i don't like to use so much contour i just feel like people be using shades that are like 10 times darker than their skin tone and i'm just like oh my goodness i prefer to use my foundation shade or just a shade just a little bit dark but not too dark okay guys i want to go back in with the contour i'm gonna take slightly more darker contour this part of my face top of my face is fine i don't need to but down here i feel like i want to i think i'll also do that with my nose just because i feel like the contour that i used before i don't know I just feel like it disappeared by the time I was done with everything couldn't see this anymore I'm just gonna start here and I'm just gonna set this and see okay I think this is f this is like hmm this is interesting this is like giving me more of like a... It's quite nice actually. I do like the way it looks so far. It's very warm and muted. 402 and just... Let me pack that down here. Just to bring out that I'm just waking it up a little bit. In this beautiful orange, this beautiful orange, guys, it's so lovely. I'm gonna use my round brush this time to get that color in. Okay, oh wow, this is really, really nice. I like the way this feels. It's like a fuchsia pink I think it's more fuchsia pink than it is orange so I've gone back into that same beautiful palette and I'm going to contour with that 1988 shade just to give myself a little bit more definition I think this is beautiful I love when I can use part as the contour that's like my thing yeah this is a YSL prune shade like a nice um cranberryish purple and then I got a brown I think I'm going to use br actually I'm going to stick to what I like I think I'm going to use this shade today shade 13 it's gonna put it on my lip smack it 
Mmm. Gonna go in with that darker brown on top. This is the um, Flossy by Flossy Flossy um, Fenty Beauty. This is like literally portable size, and then this one from Kiko. I think I'm gonna use the Kiko 17 3D Hydra. I think this is very pretty. I'm just gonna put this on. Ooh, I like this. Kiko product. Let me show you guys this. It is so beautiful. Oh my god. Just guys watch. Look at the shine guys. Can you see the shine? Definitely gonna put in this directly into my face because I would just like Put the spine from my hand to my face. Fortunately, they didn't have the big size of the diamond bomb, but guys, this is really pretty. I'll show you guys. This is how it looks. It's really pretty. So once again, from my hand to my face, like, I'm still like that. So I basically have gone and changed and I'm ready to head out. But I'll be giving you guys what my final verdict is. Um, I love all the products that I used today. I really did like the concealers. I think the concealers are really nice. I think the coverage is definitely full. I think it does what it says it's supposed to do. So I used the two shades, Mocha and um, Chestnut, and I think I like it. I would say that my foundation, my face looks a little bit darker than I would really like. I think it does, but I haven't actually... Guys, I haven't actually done makeup in like two weeks, so I don't know if it's just me thinking this or if it's actually what is. But um, the foundation, I like the foundation, I do. I think I'm probably gonna mix it with my other foundation because it's a little bit orange. I think my face is a little bit orange. I don't know if you can tell, but um, it's a little bit orange, but I think it's okay. I will probably be mixing this shade and the setting powder the setting powder is cute you know the fenty pro filter setting powder i think it's really nice it's very um warm which i'm not used to i like the whole lighter popping under eye but i think this is very warm and neutral for me which isn't a bad thing i mean there's definitely a first time for everything things that i don't particularly like i think this fenty cream hmm i don't know it turned out all right but i had to do quite a bit to get to where we are now i don't think i would be using it as often maybe i'll probably get a different color and see i also didn't really like this sephora 09 brush when you compare this to the real technique you can see that it's definitely a different shape and i like this one because this makes more sense for multi um purpose like multi sculpting because it, you can have the contour if you want you can also like spread it out naturally if you want but this i don't know i think i'll probably be using this one mainly for maybe concealers I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure these are probably my two favorite because of the packaging this is very luxe i love it um i think the mascara is very very really really nice and the compact ysl shade is such a nice fuchsia pink like this is like luxury in a package like this is something i would even use just to show people that i got extra change the kiko wonder woman metal foil i think it's such a nice rose gold color and honestly it literally set the um color for my eyes i think it's lush i think it's really really nice would i use it again definitely i could even leave it just like that because i really really love this rose gold color i think it's so chic i really like the primer i think the primer did its it did what it's supposed to do. I felt like my skin was blurred even before I put in any, on any product. So I think I really like that about um, the primer. I, I think the primer is really, really good. I uh, I really, yeah. Babies will have to be the highlighter. Like guys, I don't know if you can see it, but the highlight on this is so nice and so natural. It honestly feels like I'm just like wearing skin with a bit of highlight. Like, hey, can you guys see the highlight? 
it's really really nice so i think these two kiko products and fenty i think this combination together wow i will be using this again this christmas like this is probably going to be my christmas highlighter and probably my ev not every day but my definitely christmas highlighter but yeah i think that is the end of this video don't forget to like share and definitely subscribe to my channel check me out on all my social platforms instagram and twitter at it's Kemdy vibes with two eyes and i'll see you in my next video bye